What's happening? I was just watching my buddy. He's making me Tony Stark, the Iron Man, at the end of our end game where he is on his knees dying, unfortunately, and snaps his finger and says, I am Iron Man. 3D printed. It's going to be cool. I can't wait to show you guys that. Um, all right. So, born Sunday. Didn't have a lot to do. I'm waiting for a pot to come in for that water cooler that I'm going to be putting together on that 3090. I'll be doing a video on that later. But um, I've pretty much wrapped up. I've got one, two, three builds done this week. And things are looking pretty good. So, oh. Anyways, I had this case hanging around. It's a cool master. It's a, it's got one bay in it where you could put like a, I guess you could put anything in there, a DVD, Blu-ray, if you're into that. I'm going to leave it blank. Still has, uh, it's pretty basic. It's pretty basic. I'm going to put a water cooler in it. Probably EVGA. I'm thinking maybe probably going to put a, oh, it'll take a 280 up top. M.2, got a nice little motherboard here, B550, Asus, tough gaming board, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bother with the 50, 56, is it 56, 58, 59, 59, 50, whatever, I'm just gonna put a 36, it's gonna be a basic, uh, gonna be a basic build, some kid that wants to play games, whatever, you know, like I said, probably put an M.2, maybe a 1 gig or a 500 in there. Either a NVIDIA 3060 Ti or a 3070. I had this. It's brand new. I opened the box. I did a review on this a long time ago. Yep. A long time ago. Must well throw it in. Brand new 750 NZXT. Can't go wrong with that. So on that note, let's throw this aside. We're going to get started. I think this goes up to 32 without overclocking. So 3200. I think I've got some 2666. So that's probably what I'm going to use. Get her up, get her running. But in the meantime, let's get her up, get her running. First things first. I did this power supply. I did a review on this power supply probably two years ago when I just started doing videos and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy a fan, do a power, do a thing. I still like to do reviews on small things, but that's just going back, you know. It's like I like to do a review on, again, why, Why people don't don't use these is beyond me. Cooler Master ID, Cool and Asia Haas, they all make them. Cooler Master makes a really nice, they all make nice ones. Uh, you can get 240s, you can get 360s. They're beautiful for putting on AI on radiators. I mean, no fuss. It comes with a standard four pin power. Comes with a regular three pin ARGB, five volt, man, you just can't go wrong. I see people fighting, making all kinds of crazy wires and it's so much easier. But I like, I like to do little reviews like that and, and stuff too. Okay, so what's we got here? What we got here? Okay, so we're just gonna throw this, throw up. I'm just gonna throw up all over the place. I'm just gonna throw this in here. Yep, looks all right to me. I'm done. Now, my favorite thing, I, I, I can't go without. I have to. Buy boxes of these things, man. I, I just can't go without these things. Am I blocking the video? I might be giving you the back on that one, but just real quick. Lined up, got lined up there. Wham bam. Shazam. 
And what do you people out there like? DC, Marvel. Which way you swing? Which way you swing? I love Marvel. I think DC's really starting to pick up their... Uh, they're really starting to pick up the pace too. There we go. Everything's square now. Sorry people on that on that B-roll camera, you're getting my back side. Alright. 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 So then when I get rich and famous. I'll get one of them little rolly things and my camera can roll, baby, roll, can roll. I should pick up some more of these things. There's good deals on them. I'd like to get some 3950s. That would be cool. 56s. I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're quicker, but... You can still get a lot out of these things, man. I mean, people go for this crazy power. Me, I am so guilty. You know, gotta have this, gotta have that, gotta have this. People go for all this crazy, crazy power. And I'll tell you what, I really don't need it all. I just wish they'd get a little bigger with their little speck of microscopic corner of gold they put on there. You gotta have a freaking Hubble telescope. Hubble, Hubble, Hubble telescope. You gotta have a Hubble telescope to see that damn thing. Okay, that's on. I don't know why they put a nice heat sink down here. Well, I can see why because that little, there's a little PCIe on there. It's only a 500 gigabyte. 500. Gigabyte. So what you gotta do? You put it, put it right to the end. You wanna leave that whole groove showing. So that will work. And then yeah, this will work. You can use these on a variety of things. You can use them on on. Whoa. Yes, sir, e Bob. Wow. It's like a glove. Wow, everybody with it. Can't go wrong, because this is what you do with it. Oh, yeah. It's done. Oh, something like this, I don't really want to put a water. Well, uh, everybody wants a, everybody wants water cooling. No water cooling, you ain't cool. That's the top of the board, 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 board. Whoa. Do you go in there? Do you even fit? Are you the same kind of like comp computer case that's made in the rest of this country? Oh, this ain't made in this country. Oh, yes, it does fit. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to badmouth you. I hate these freaking... Now you want to go on. Okay. Smart out. I always go towards the back. Try to get something that's going to hold it up in front. Voila. Look at that. I can see all the holes. Noise. It's better this time than it did the last time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be stubborn, I guess. Has a little flange on it. weird. Must have had a little piece of metal stuck in it or something because it didn't want to go. Oh, 
why don't I have a stronger magnetic? You know, I'm going online as soon as I hang up. And I'm buying like super, super magni, super magni type screwdrivers. Like one that will drag me across the street if I point it at something. Uh oh, yes, you're right. That's my phone. See, now that one, all the way in, no problem. Okay, what do I do with that thing? Did it fall? Don't mind me, I'm shooting a video, so I'm not talking to myself. I'm almost done, I'm not gonna do the whole thing today. You still here? What are you doing here? <laughs> What's everybody up to? All right, we're back today because, yeah. Anyways, I wanna do a little bit more work on this. I'm kinda just, this is weekly. I'm an all week project, doing a little bit every day, seeing what happens, how it goes. Well. I'm gonna put a 280 millimeter rad in here. So we're gonna get down to it. I'm not gonna do much for RGB in this one, or ARGB. I think I'm gonna go all black and if somebody, whoever buys it wants to go that route, fine. Still deciding on whether I'm gonna put a 3060, 3060 Ti, a 3070 in here. Another thing I like about these is they don't use any proprietary power plugs. They're all three, four pin, which is a good thing. Nice. Because of the heat sink on these Asus Tough up here, it's hard to put anything bigger than a a um a 120 millimeter a one, 120 radiator so i change it around i'm going to put it in the front it's going to push hot air the warm air out for some reason people recommend it i always thought pulling cold air in was the better thing to do but for some crazy equal in um, quality, I would think. There are some really cheaper brands out there. If you want to go buy from Etsy, so wherever it is, what is that other crazy site out there? I see. So anyways, yeah, okay, so we're back. And I had to put it in the front. B, B, B. Time all up later. B, G, A. I do not like hoses. Okay. MX4 is a little bit thicker than the MX5 I found. Since the beginning of time, people have been using the P-dot style. Now it's the, then it went to the X, then the Z, then the line and the cross. Now it's spread. Honestly, 
I ain't never seen a difference. Once upon a time. Oh yeah, looks like a glove. See, si, senor. Same as always when you use these. You tighten them and they crisscross. Oh boy, it's looking good. And I gotta get some new reading glasses here. Working glasses. Okay, so we're almost done with this pot. I had it for the day. Time to go play some Quake Champions. It is Tuesday. Got the 280 in the front. Got a couple 120s up top. Got what I think, unless it's just clear fan blades, but it looks like a, um, a mild RGB or ARGB in the back. So just give it a little, little something, something. The memory going all over on it. I'm going pretty much going with the dark look. The dark look. That's it for today. Finish this up the rest of the week because I can't. I am so looking forward to doing that video this weekend on that video card. And I think that's going to be fun. We'll be back. Okay, so let's give this a shot again. The last video, something happened. My webcam is not jogging with my mirrorless camera. So towards the end, it gave me an error. I just did 30 minutes of video, which was gonna be cleaned up to probably around six minutes. But what I'm gonna do is real quick, go over where I was, when I'm, what we're doing. Okay. When my, my, when my camera cropped out the last time, I was putting this on. Basically, I just finished tightening it down. USB cable in. Now I am going to do the, the switches. Power LED positive and negative. You know what I really hate is they put these little pins so close to pins identical to them, right above them, it's, it's like almost impossible to, uh, to get it right. It's weird how the bottom you gotta turn upside down. I don't know if it even really matters to be honest with you, but I prefer to just keep it the way they say. Okay, LEDs, reset. Let's just start her up real quick and we'll find out. And again, I don't have the card in it yet, so I just wanna see if it's getting power. It's got power. Okay, so what I decided to go with is a, a Zotac 3060 Twin Edge OC. A lot of people seem to shy away from these Zotax, but I, I'm, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know why. They're a good card. They're a reference board. Uh, they're as good as an Asus. They're as good as any other board. The only thing that I don't like about Zotac is they use metal on their back plate instead of aluminum. Copper would be ideal. Aluminum would be better than sheet metal like this, but it still disperses heat well enough. And this doesn't create a lot of heat anyways, being a 3060. That video I did regarding that scam site, I'm sure you all seen it. The site got investigated, Ooh, gone, gone baby. They got taken down, taken down hard. Okay, so here we are. I just wanted to move that around. Yeah, I was removing some programs the other day and I must have messed up a DLL file in, oh, I did take out some software that could have messed that camera up. Anyways, it keeps locking up and freezing up my, my, um, my Streamlabs OBS. Let's get on with this. Can we get it started? Hey, puppy. Oh, I always do that. Power. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Whoa, hope we get a post. Yeah, I'm 
we have a pulse folks. CPU installed. Please hit configure F1. Oh, you have that. What you need? Proto needs XMP. All right, that's it. We got a post. Shut it down. I'm going to install Windows. I'm sure you all don't want to see Windows get installed. And then we're going to come back and we're going to benchmark this little bad boy. I've, I've run a few benchmarks on it actually and it, it runs really, has good temperatures. I'm just running something. It's, I'm, I'm not going to run crazy, crazy benches. I'm going to do stuff. Like right now, this is, this is a 1080. This is running in 1080p. I'm not going to attempt 4K because let's face it, this card isn't made for it. it it's, it's, a, it's an entry level or lower mid-range case that will handle Call of Duty, even Halo. You're not going to play in ultra settings, which you don't want anyways, but you'll be able to play in, in probably, I would say, low medium settings all the time on a decent monitor. The game will look fine. Um, I'm looking at the score over here and it's it's running over 200 FPS So if you have a 1440 monitor 1440p I, I don't see you having any problem running this game in that I really think that you'll get good performance very good performance So we're gonna let this test run see what a final score is and from this moment on It'll be cut out because I'm gonna cut it out I think we're nearing the end here of the test. Well, I have to say 235.3 or 3060, 16 gigs of DDR for 30, 3200 and Ryzen 3036. 30, yeah, 3600. That's a pretty darn good score. So I'm um, real quick. We're going to take a look at temps. After running this, I can hear the fans cranking. We'll use HP monitor. I'll see if I can downsize and bring it up while it's going. All right, you can hear them fans are cranking away. Obviously, the test isn't um, running, but the, it isn't benchmarking, but the app is still running, so it's still giving out temps. It's not bad. I, I'd say one, what are we getting here? One, so we're getting between like 90 and 130, which is still relatively good. Yeah. The, these CPUs can get up close to, um, like, I think they say when you start seeing it hit up into... Mm, what I want to say all right so we have edge temperatures are at about 55 which is still really not bad at all edge always runs harder and that would be around a one th turn my mic a little bit running at 90 between 90 95 still good temps VRAM looks good EDR GPU temps all right there where they belong 120 125 yeah I know I'm still the mic still sounds a little roomy even though I have plenty of sound protection in here it's this new shotgun mic I really still am working on tuning it up it's not like my sure um, which was so easy messing around with the with the uh, controller and stuff so yeah so here we are I'm pretty happy with the results getting over 200 235 FPS that, that'll run that'll run Halo that'll run pretty much most games and, and I, I don't know how it will perform in high ul uh, ultra if you want to go that high I, I don't even play with my 3090 on them settings but medium settings and stuff I don't think you see any problem so that's it folks you're interested Give me a buzz. You want RGB? I can change some stuff out. Whatever you want. If you're not, someone's going to buy it up quick anyways. I mean, I'd like to sell it to somebody out there like that last guy I sold that Cooler Master to. He, he still sends me emails saying how much he loves that machine. It really did come out nice. So on that note, I can finally edit this, wrap this all up. The water cooler came in so I can water cool the... Um, GPU so we're going to be doing a video on that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the the NZXT because I do have a Corsair full water block on the way in with all the goodies so I'm probably going to cool it with that and I'll do a video on that build building that so on that note y'all have a good day now you hear?